For too long, gun violence has plagued our city and disproportionately affected black and brown communities here in Jackson and nationwide. Of course, the majority of the people affected by gun violence in Jackson are black and brown. They make up 80% of the city. You can't get more proportionate. That's like saying in China, the virus disproportionately affects yellow people. On a national level, yes, gun violence disproportionately affects black and brown people considering they make up less than 30% of the population. But context matters. You're making it seem like black and brown people are just inherently violent sociopaths. Gun violence doesn't disproportionately affect all black and brown people across the board. It overwhelmingly affects black and brown people who live in our inner cities. These communities are neglected and poverty stricken, which is the natural ecosystem for drug and gang violence. I assure you, no one is doing drive-bys in Baldwin Hills, California, which has one of the richest black communities in America. In the space of just one week, two innocent children have lost their lives due to senseless gun violence. Many of these killings could have been avoided if we had state law that enabled us to better control the presence of firearms on our streets. In one of the cases, a little girl died because someone shot into the apartment she was in. How do you stop that kind of violence with a state law? He's talking as if right now in Mississippi, it's legal to just shoot into an apartment complex filled with people. That's already illegal. In the second case, a young boy was killed by a stray bullet. What law are you going to pass to stop that? You're going to pass a law banning stray bullets? It's already illegal to shoot a gun within city limits. What are you going to do next? Create a law banning criminals from going outside in public? Canada has way more gun laws than we do. And a guy just went on a killing spree for 12 hours and he broke every law in the book to do it. This is stupid. These politicians answer to everything is always more laws. Hell, since y'all think laws are, are the answer to everything, how about passing a law to ban this virus? How about you do that? Make a law that bans anyone from getting the virus. As a city, we have championed progressive programs towards lessening the occurrence of violent crime here in Jackson with our violence interruption and credible messenger programs, which aim to find better solutions to interpersonal conflict before they turn deadly. But these measures alone will not stop the gun violence that we have become all too accustomed to experience. What do you mean these measures alone won't stop gun violence? For literally decades, Democrat politicians' only solution to inner city violence has been gun control. They never talk about any nuanced approaches to fixing the conditions in the inner city that breed this type of violence. But now you finally talk about a sorta of, kinda nuanced approach and you only use it as a footnote to pivot right back to, we need more gun control. The city of Jackson faces a significant challenge with illegal guns. The open carry law interferes with law enforcement's ability to take illegal guns off of the streets. On May 2nd, 1967, 30 armed black men who were part of the Black Panther Party showed up to the California state capitol to protest the bill that was trying to do exactly what this mayor is doing in this video, ban open carry. Seeing all those black men with guns terrified the politicians back then. It terrified them so much that it helped pass the bill which is now called the Mofred Act. Fast forward to 2020 and a black mayor of a black city is literally trying to do the same thing and saying the exact same thing they said back then. This would be ironic if it wasn't so sad. Prior to the open carry law, when Jackson police officers saw a gun in plain view, it gave them the probable cause to seize the weapon and determine whether it was an illegal weapon or not. The open carry law not only provides protection to individuals who are armed with illegal weapons, it creates an atmosphere of fear and intimidation in the community. No, it doesn't. Criminals don't open carry illegal guns. They conceal them because they're criminals. If you catch a criminal doing something illegal, you already have probable cause to take the gun they have on them and check to see if it's a stolen gun or if they're a prohibited possessor. Even if this wasn't the case, in America, you're innocent until proven guilty. You don't just get to create a law so that you can immediately assume someone's guilt. Banning open carry in order to stop gun violence is like banning catcalling in order to stop rape. It's just dumb. We cannot continue to turn a blind eye to the fact that the open carry law has led to an increase in gun violence in our communities. No, 
Open carry laws protect non-criminal citizens against overzealous law enforcement who don't believe people should carry guns. Me simply having a gun doesn't make me a criminal. What you're trying to do is ban open carry so that cops just assume I'm a criminal for simply seeing that I have a gun on me. You don't get to infringe on people's rights just so you can have a cheat code to find criminals. You're literally saying, let's make this open carry illegal so we can have a pretext to stop anyone we see with a gun on them. Someone straight accidentally raises up and now the cops can violate your fourth amendment right because you've already passed a law that violates their second. And another thing, what the hell does open carry and gun violence have to do with one another? Jackson, Mississippi doesn't have a gun violence issue because people are allowed to open carry. What criminal in their right mind would open carry a gun he knows he owns illegally? That's just stupid. Mississippi is a constitutional carry state. You don't even need a license to carry. And even if you did, criminals carry anyway. This is not about stopping gun violence. This is about you exploiting a crisis to grab power and control. Since 2013, child deaths by firearms in the South have increased by 72%, according to the National Center for Health Statistics. Sending our thoughts and prayers to the families who have lost loved ones to senseless gun violence is not enough. If we are sincere in our hope for better outcomes and a brighter future for our youth, we must be moved to action. Again, what does open carry have to do with child deaths? You're throwing shit on a board and hoping it sticks. I literally thought I was becoming stupid because I couldn't comprehend the points you were trying to make in this video. But no, you're just rattling off every anti-gun talking point fed to you by Bloomberg. It is this call to action which has led to my decision to issue an executive order suspending the open carry law during the COVID-19 civil emergency. Under state statute, I am given the discretion in the interest of public safety and welfare to issue such orders that are necessary for the protection of life and property. In this moment of great distress and economic tension, it is important that we eliminate the ability for illegal weapons to inflict irreparable harm on our city. And this, people, is the prime example of why we cannot compromise on the gun issue with anti-gunners, because they'll just take things too far. The state statute refers to states in case, E, issue such other order as are necessary for the protection of life and property. That is literally a blank check for a politician to do anything he wants under the guise of, it's an emergency. Prior to this emergency, Jackson, Mississippi was already dealing with high levels of gun violence. He literally said that in this video. So someone please explain to me how now banning open carry is gonna, according to the state, protect life and property. As I always say, Politicians only want to control you, not protect you. A politician who wants to protect the citizens would empower them. He would tell the citizens to exercise their rights under the Second Amendment because we couldn't keep you safe before the pandemic, considering our gun violence issue. So we definitely can't keep you safe during the pandemic. No, instead, he restricts your rights at a time you likely need them the most. I want to make it clear that I have no principal disagreement with the Second Amendment right to bear arms. Anytime someone says this, pay attention to the next words because I assure you that the next word will be but and then everything they say after this will be a long drawn out convoluted explanation that basically says the complete opposite of what they said before the word but. But all rights must be balanced by reasonable regulations. A right that protects illegal guns and puts more people in fear a right that escalates conflict beyond the point of resolution, and a right that interferes with another person's right to live is not a legitimate right to be maintained. Your right to swing ends at my nose. I told you. People, all you have to do is listen and they'll tell you everything you need to know. He is literally equating the ability to open carry a firearm to the protection of illegal guns. Think about how dumb this is. He's blaming the gun violence in Jackson for law abiding citizens ability to carry a gun openly on their hip. Logic says if the open carrying of a gun on your hip interferes with the right of someone to live, then so does concealed carry. Bro, just say you don't want anyone carrying guns in Jackson. Then I wouldn't have to make this long ass video destroying the moronic logic you use to justify infringing on people's constitutional right. While this order will only be in effect for a short period of time, I am calling on every Jackson resident 
and all state and local leaders to act in the interest of our innocent children. Repeal the open carry law, which makes it impossible for our police officers to root out illegal firearms in our streets. How many babies do we have to bury to appease someone's desire to open carry? This whole video is just stupid, like really stupid. To even begin to understand what he just said, you'd have to first assume that criminals prefer to open carry guns and that prior to the open carry laws, Jackson had no violence issues. Both of these assumptions are categorically false. And this whole video was simply embarrassing. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a direct. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.